Alright, so here we're going to be looking at Hamiltonian networks, and so we're looking for a Hamiltonian path or Hamiltonian circuit. And what a Hamiltonian is, is a situation where you can find your way through a network by visiting every single node once. You're not allowed to go through a node more than once or a vertex more than once. You can only pass through each node once, and at the end of it, you've managed to visit every single node in the network. And similar to the difference between path and circuit for Euler, the Hamiltonian path is one where you start and finish on different nodes, and the Hamiltonian circuit you would start and finish on the same node. So again, key thing for us is that you cannot pass through a node more than once. And I just want to relate back to the difference between Hamiltonian and Euler because it's something people will often get confused. When we talked about Euler, I said Euler is for edges because they both start with E, and that's one way to remember. Euler is all about getting down every single edge or path. And for Hamiltonian, I think about as Hamiltonian is about houses or nodes, but I think of the, ha the nodes as little houses that you go to, where the H is for H. So if we took a look at an example here, um, A, if I started at A, I could get to B, C, D, I, H, G, F, and E. And in this case, I've started and ended at different nodes, so it would be a Hamiltonian path. But um, one thing you'll notice here is that I didn't actually use all the edges. You'll notice there's a few I didn't go down, and that's totally fine. You don't have to use all the edges. In fact, it's fine to leave them blank. So be aware of that with a Hamiltonian. It's not about the edges, it's just about the nodes. And here you'll notice again that I visited every single node or vertex in there only once. Um, something to talk about here would be what we call distinct routes. So um, distinct is basically something where the order that you go in is different than... Because um, sometimes you can get through a circuit in more than one way. Let's look at that real quick. Um, with that same diagram I just did here, I could have done the same problem by going in this completely different order here. So you can see I've visited every single node, I've just done it in a different order. So these two, the green and the pink, these are distinct paths that we can follow, distinct routes to finish this network, because they're not just the reverse of each other. One thing that people sometimes think is they're looking to find all the different ways that you can make it through a network. They'll count up one, for instance, starting at A, B, C, and ending at D. Then they'll see another one that goes from C, from D to C to B to A. And in fact, these are just the exact same path or the exact same order, just in reverse. So this is what we call reversibility, and those are not distinct. So distinct means different or unique, such as this one here where you want A, B, C, D, I, H, G, E. F, E, and this one where you went A, F, G, H, E, B, C, D, I. So noticing when you have distinct routes versus when you just have reversibility. One other thing here about um, Hamiltonian and a difference between Hamiltonian and Euler is that Euler, again, you've got the even and odd vertices that help you figure out whether or not a, it's traversable or a Euler path or circuit. With a Hamiltonian, you have no hints at all. The only way you can do it is by brute force of actually trying to find your way through the network. And again, there might be more than one path to get you to all the different, um, I guess I shouldn't say path, there might be more than one um, route that you can take to get you through all, get you to all the different nodes, but you can only find it just by trialing it out. So if we take a look at uh, some examples here, um, thinking about it, um, just pick a start point. So I might start at B and see what happens. So if I go from B to A, 1, down to C, if I go up to D, I'm in trouble because I will have already passed through that node. So you see here, I can't go back, so that doesn't work. So if I go out to E and then back to D, again I'm in trouble because I cannot get to D because I've already gone through B. So that one doesn't work. I wouldn't be able to use the orange path because it would require me to go through that twice. So let's try a different one here. What if I start at E? And I go from E to B, down to A, over to C, and then up to D. So one, two, three, four for my path. In this case, I've been to every single vertex in that network, and that would work. So my path there would be 
or the route that I would write down would be E, B, A, C, D, where that gives me the instructions for which node I visited in which order. And as an example here, another distinct way to look at that could be this example they've done, going from A to B to D to C to E. So those would be um, distinct routes from each other because they're not just the reverse of one another. So that's what we're looking at here, is um, identifying whether you have a Hamiltonian path or circuit. And in this case, both of, well, in this case, it doesn't really ma matter which way you do it, um, we have a path because we start and end at different spots. So this would be a path, a Hamiltonian path. And the other example that they have here, um, following what they've got, if you start at A, you go from A to B, to F, to E, to C, to D, back to A. You start, start and end on the same. So in this case, you have a circuit.